Is it 26? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, again, let's do the conjunction, junction, what kind of clauses are we functioning here exercise. Um, he saved the universe. Can that stand alone? He saved the universe. Wow, awesome. Thank you. Um, forget the words. That's an independent clause. Okay, now, the year after. That's not right. So this is a dependent clause. Okay, so what do we do if we want to keep that structure? Just put a comma. Yeah, and then this is what you can do for your explanation. There you go. Or you could do this. How could you how could you rewrite it so that it doesn't need any punctuation? I just took commas away from you. You can't use a comma. You still need to fix that sentence. You can't drop any information. What do you do? You saved the universe. Yeah. Sounds awkward, but it's grammatically correct because here's what you've done. <coughs> That's the rule. Put the dependent clause at the end. Don't punch it. So again, multiple ways that you could deal with this. Um, you could rewrite it, just you could write this. And then write that. There you go. Yeah? Um, it's probably a silly question, but on the one line about it, Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that a conjunction word? Yes, would be a conjunction mm, Well, let's puzzle it out. Because here's the thing about conjunctions. Um, and gets all the conjunction love, you know, or or, but because they're featured in the conjunction junction song, mm -hmm. right? But really, anything can be used as a conjunction, okay. really. So here's one way to like spot where the conjunction is. Jack slept for 18 hours. That's an independent clause. He was still tired. That's an independent clause. Yet is the only thing left over. So that's a pretty strong indication that, that no matter how the original person who wrote the sentence was thinking, we can probably use it as a judge. All right, one final thing.